Well, moving on now, tomorrow night marks the spring equinox, the official beginning of astronomical spring. Yes, yeah, some unique animal behaviors also come with the changing season, including the dance of the greater prairie chicken. So joining us now with more on that is Monica McCubrey with the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission. So both birds, the cranes <laughs> and the prairie chickens, like yes. to do this kind of a dance. Yeah, right? so everyone hears about the cranes, but they mm -hmm. don't really hear about the prairie chickens that we have in Nebraska. So um, the greatest majority of them are going to be in the sand hills area, so a little bit different than where the cranes are going to be. Um, but these birds are very cool. They're in the grouse family. So they have white bars all over them and they have these super cool what are called pinna feathers. So they look like little tufts of feathers that stick up and uh, the males will have these bright orange air sacs, kind of like balloons. Um, and they're all doing this dances to impress a female. Uh huh. So we're seeing some of them now. I just, uh, the, these animals are really fun. I mean, they're just really fun to, to watch. Yes, mm -hmm. and it is such a sight to see because um, you get to be, if you do a uh, public viewing blind. You can sit there, you can watch these animals do their thing. Um, it's pretty early, but it goes on for hours, up to three hours, four hours sometimes, and females just kind of watch, and the males do all these pretty cool dances on what's called a booming ground or a lek, and they do this day after day after day until a female makes a choice. Oh, okay. wow. So where can people <laughs> best see them? Where can you view them? Yeah, so there are a ton of uh, public viewing blinds kind of out in the Santos area, North Platte, McCook, um, lots of different areas. Um, there's one called NCORP, uh, which is actually a partner program with Nebraska Game and Parks, and it is a public viewing blind um, that you can go visit the prairie chickens. You just simply need to call someone and make a reservation, um, and they will give you all the details, and you can go out and watch these guys um, do their thing. And usually in the morning as well? Yes, it's usually right before sunrise, um, kind of like the cranes, right before sunrise till usually about mid-morning or so. Okay. okay. Are these animals threatened in any way? So they don't have a threatened status, but just like all the other animals, habitat is a huge portion. Um, in the 1930s, when agriculture became a little bit more intensive, um, they lost quite a bit of their habitat. Um, but with also like planting of trees and different type of fire regimes, um, they've started to see a few um, declines in their population, but Nebraska is actually a stronghold for them. So yeah. even better to go see them here. Can you see them closer to Lincoln too? Um, there are some populations on the eastern side, but it is nothing like, nothing like, like you're going to see out west. Yeah. Okay. And how much time do you have to do this? I mean, through March? Um, so I've seen people post about it already, so I know that's going, but okay. peak time is usually April um, until okay. about mid-May or so. Okay. Uh -huh. So they're busy until that time. Then. Yes, they just dance for the girls until then. So. That, yeah, I know, and yeah. they really show off. It's they really do. amazing to watch them. Their sounds are interesting too. Yeah, if you blow over a glass bottle, that's kind of what the best way I can describe how it sounds, kind of like that low frequency booming noises, uh -huh. um, Yeah, but it's like nothing you've ever heard before. Mm -hmm. So Monica, where can people learn more and maybe find out how they can go watch them? Yeah, so if you visit OutdoorNebraska.gov and search prairie chickens, you can find information. Or if you honestly just do a Google search, the Crane Trust has a lot of different places. Or like I mentioned, that NCORP, um, N-C-O-R-P-E, you can find more information on how to go view them. Cool. Sounds good. All right, thanks. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm.